think the first thing people are going to notice is the build and just the fact that the golf course looks so huge when you have all these structures. Your sight lines are so different. You can't see number one tee from nine green and they're really only about 40 yards apart. I believe this is the largest build in PGA Tour history. Uh, I have never seen anything like it and I have been a part, you know, a PGA Championship. The structures they put up and the amount of time it took them Really impressive. I think we have over half a million square foot of plywood out here for these structures, which is quite a bit. So we had to do a lot of regrading of the ground around the first tee to accommodate the structure with hospitality booths underneath it, grandstands above it. Uh, so we had to get we had to get everything level, uh, but we still had the challenge of making it look like a golf course. So we tried to create a platform for them to build upon, but at the same time make it look good enough for the members so that way when the structure isn't there, it doesn't look like something's gonna be there. So they moved the routing from number eight to number 12 uh, to bring the green mile into play. I think I heard the stat that uh, only 30, 35% of matches make it to the 18th in match play golf. So they want the green mile, which is our normal 16, 17, 18, to be in play every match. Um, so then that those holes will play as 13, 14, 15, and hopefully provide some great excitement in those holes. We beefed up the staff since we had so much to do preparing for this. But other than that, we went with essentially the same team uh, that we had for the 2021 Wells Fargo. The build is not even close to anything this massive. So it was an eye-opening event for Frank, and man, I tell you what, he knocked it out of the park. And mainly because the cooperation that he gave the vendors. It wasn't him against them, it wasn't them against him. It was, hey guys, we're a team. And if this is gonna work, we have to work together to make it work. And that's what happened, and it just, it was flawless. I work uh, with the PGA Tour Ops people, um, and then they kind of relay, keep us in the loop, uh, let us know when locations are gonna be built. We scout them out, get them ready, make sure they have a good route to the, to the structure, make sure all the, all the contractors are on the same page, and then it's just damage control. You know, there's gonna be, always be a little bit of damage, but as much as you can limit, the better for the golf course.